Right, looks a brilliant van, doesn't it? Unfortunately, it's not. Um, because if you want a vehicle that's got 2.1 meters of width, you ought to go for a Fiat Ducato with a real engine. An Italian Iveco, instead of this awful thing that Ford make, for the Peugeot and the Citroëns, and indeed, obviously, the Fords themselves as well. Um, this one has been a bust. We've removed the seats. It currently has a gross vehicle weight of 4050. We could downrate it since we've moved, removed the seats uh, with an approximate payload of 1400 kg. Nicely color coded. Uh, there's not a mark on it actually throughout. Uh, it's done 22,000 miles warranted. We've got an automatic side step, which is always nice. Coming inside, I'm standing up, six foot four, good height. Uh, of course, with it being um, of, of uh, a Citroen Peugeot slash Fiat, you can put the bedways that way along. You've got a skylight here, it doesn't open, a bit unfortunate, I'll have them to open, but hey, it is what it is. You can add another one at the back, make use of these things here, but definitely get rid of the carpet, that's awful. Um, cab's nice and tidy, no one's had the feet on the dash. Do you like the facelift? I have to say, one thing they did do was the facelift does look rather naughty. So, let's go ahead. Annoying buzzer that's associated with minibuses. Gonna have to get that removed. Got some lights in the back. Wanna be LED, but they're not. Let's get the door shut. Oh, the side door's open as well. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, right, so there's no lights in the dash, that's for the handbrake, that's for the seat bar, that's telling the doors are open, that's some sort of modern day lane control rubbish that's going to go wrong in probably about 50,000 miles, but hey, it's only done 22, so you've got a bit of time. Um, with it being a four ton, it does have a tachograph, I wouldn't recommend removing that, because I tell you what, it's a, you're just inviting a whole world of nightmares into your life. But anyway, here we have it. Comes with the usual base van servicing, warranty, MOTs, all that sort of stuff. Check out our website, see what we do. We're really proud of what we do here. Uh, we all always work late, we always try our best. Um, and I feel like, I feel like we're living the dream. Catch you later.